So, I got to participate in an arcade one up online fighting game tournament. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mike Walter. It's coming at you today with a video um, discussing my experiences with the uh, the first RK One Up, uh, really like esports, like official tournament that has ever been held. First and foremost, you like to see. I'm saying, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and um, you'll turn on those notifications. You know, my videos go live as we make our way to 2K. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. So right now, it's about. 7 13 in the morning <laughs> central standard and uh i'm recording this because it's something that i've been literally thinking of since the tournament ended uh, for those who don't know there was a marvel superheroes online tournament held on the arcade one up um cabinets that mamma jamma back you know what i'm saying um so requirements was you had you had to have marvel's capcom to play online or you had to have the pcb to, to get access to it some people might have done that or whatever else, you know what I mean? It was double elimination, you know what I'm saying? Double bubble. So if you get knocked out of the winner's round, you go to lose. If you get knocked out of the losers, go out. You know what I mean? Um, not all the matches were on stream. You know what I mean? You played your matches and you know you kept it you kept it moving. You know, like a like a regular fighting game tournament would go. Uh first prize was like five hundred and fifty bucks and the Simpsons cabinet provided from arcade went up along with Marvel's Capcom 2 vinyl and some other stuff. Second place was 350, a Marvel uh, Marvel Superheroes uh, two-player counter K, which I want, but still thinking about ordering because UAG did a video on it. Yo, shout out to the homie, your average gamer. Um, and third place, the most sought after prize, which which is funny because this is legitimately the most sought after prize. $150 and a Paw Patrol baby K. I cannot make that up. I am dead serious. Nobody cared about the Simpsons. Nobody cared about Marvel superheroes. Everybody wanted the baby Cade. Okay, you know what I'm saying look, look. Y'all say what y'all want to, but yo, know, y'all not gonna take shots at this baby Cade because baby K is legit. You know what I mean? Um, and apparently people want it. So the tournament started about 11 a.m. CST, 12 p.m. EST. Uh, right after uh, the reveal of RK One Up's Lounge in Miami, it's it's crazy how that works, right? You know what I mean? Um, UAG got the exclusive on that. If you guys haven't seen the video for the new RK One Up Lounge? Uh, that's on his channel. Go check that out. Anybody you see who's like circulating that video or content from that video, you know what I mean? Yo, refer him to UAG. My man's just hit 100. He just hit 1K yesterday. So, yo, big up, big up to him. And right after that, you know, John, you know what I'm saying, the, the tournament started, you know, put your quarters on the glass. If you're not following, put your quarters on the glass YouTube channel, you should do that. You know what I mean? Uh, it started at 11, you know what I mean? Um, you had you had Red 5, you had Webhead, Storm Queen herself came in, you know what I'm saying? Trudy Coleman, she came in and did some commentary, you know, Super King 64, aka Welcome to Die. Double Gauntlet's like, yo, 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 Nano Gauntlet comes in tomorrow, so I'm with you. You know what I mean, um, they did commentary, you know, and then Office Arcade was there. He was doing, they were doing commentary as well. So you had some, you had some knowledgeable people in the FGC, you know, providing commentary, you know, Storm Queen giving feedback on people's matches or whatever else. Um, I've yet to watch my matches back yet. So I don't know what my matches look like. I will tell you from in my first round, um, and we'll, we'll get to the communication of things, but, um, I, I was up 3-0 and then like the dude quit out you know what I mean like they thought I rage quit you know what I'm saying Red was gonna penalize him I'm like no I fought two CPUs here on stream I'm still fighting I'm whatever else and whatever first round 5-0 not a big deal you know what I'm saying it was entertaining it was fun it was insightful um the matches that I did see commentary for there was nothing there was nothing hurtful or spiteful or anything like that you know what I mean it was all love which is which is a good thing you know what I mean? Uh, John D came in. John D did some. He did some commentary. You know what I mean? And there was some, just some, some off the walls like wacky, like banana stuff in there. Like to the point where there was one, there was one instance where uh, Webcat, you know what I'm saying? Webhead's wife came in and like hit that dude with the hit that dude with the freaking the web shooter. 
while he's mid while he's mid match, mind you. Okay, mid match. Hit him with a web shooter. I'm saying there'll probably be footage of it like in here somewhere. Yo, and chat also all the footage that you foot you that you see from this tournament. I have full permission from Rev from so yo Rev you the man dude. Um, literally go go watch go sub to put your cords on glad. You know what I mean? So this tournament started at eleven and it didn't end until about eight forty five. It was about nine and a half hours. Yeah, I I'm not making that up. I'm serious. It was about nine and a half hours. Now before everybody's like, oh man, that's an all day thing. Uh yeah, fighting game tournaments are all day things. You know what I mean? Um for those who have never really even played in a fighting game tournament, even if it's not online. You know what I mean? Like they take all day. But most cats they'll take their loss. If they take their loss, they'll take their loss, go to losers. They take their loss, they'll either hang out or they'll leave. There's a difference between being able to do it in public, like face to face, than it is online. Online you've got a lot of scheduling and things that you need to do to get matches ready to go you know um rev was really generous with the call times um he was giving people 15 minutes to to get together i think out of the 22 people that entered three didn't show up completely didn't show up uh eddie good got there a little late you know what i'm saying he went to losers you know what i mean but eddie good's eddie good he's like freaking top three on the freaking cabinet you know what i mean you know what i'm saying infinite beast so I mean, but like, you know, cats who were there, they got their matches in, et cetera, et cetera. I think my one thing that I would change, and I will change this in the future, you know what I mean? I think that you should prioritize matches that, you know what I'm saying, the best show off the game, and prioritize matches that, you know what I'm saying, the community might want to see. You know what I mean? Like, for all intents and purposes, you know what I'm saying, footy laughs, you know what I mean? Like the dawn of this whole FGC RK one up thing, you know what I'm saying? The dude who got it started, you know what I mean? Like, I think only one of his matches were, were 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 shown, you know what I'm saying? I think just one. And it wasn't even like the initial one, you know what I mean? I think like when you have people of that caliber, you have, you know what I'm saying, you got footy, you got welcome to die. Eddie Money Eddie Eddie Good got there late. I keep thinking of Eddie Money, it's early in the morning. Eddie Good got there late, so he got knocked down the got down the losers, you know what I'm saying? But like be Sam, like those kind of matches, you know what I'm saying? People who are like legit. You know what I mean, like you wanna you want to showcase those matches because those are the ones that people are, you know what I'm saying, who, who want to see the game played, who really, if they don't know anything about it, like, well, what makes this game so special? Boom, this is this is what you want to see. You know what I mean? So I think, and, and, that, and that comes to my only issue with this tournament, only issue. Because y'all know how it goes if you watch Evo or if you watch top, you know what I'm saying? You watch top 16 or top 32 for whatever, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's matches don't get freaking televised you know what i mean and i'm not gonna put people's names out there or whatever else but during the tournament there was a there was a best of five or there was a first of five because the tournament format was first of five okay and a first of five happened and somebody 5 would somebody and they went in the in the discord messages because they were communicating they were like hey uh you know what i'm saying i just beat this dude whatever woo woo you know what i'm saying does that count or do we have to should we wait for it to be streamed First thing I say, because I know Rev's busy. You know I'm saying I'll get to that in a minute. I was like, but if you did the match offline, then it counts. You know what I'm saying? Whatever else. And then the dude who loses was like, well, I want the match to be aired, so we should do it again. And in my head, instantly, I'm like, okay, if they air this match and the other dude wins, then there's gonna be a gripe because then you lost. And you already had the W. And I literally said, I was like, yo, take your W. Literally, I said, take your W. Like I said, I don't want to pull up those messages and expose anybody because that's not cool. Under normal term circumstances, that's how it goes. You fight your matches, dude. You know what I'm saying? And that's the end of it. I don't think, I think a lot of these cats, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot of them, but like some of these cats, you can tell probably have never really played in a tournament before. And we're probably just going off of like the, the rules you see on RK one ups, whatever, like first threes and whatever else. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And that changed the whole tournament for some for like one for like two people. Legit. Because that dude was out. And if that dude sees this video, you know who you are. Because I know who you are. Because I drug you. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, I mean, no shade, whatever else. 
that that just goes down to you know what i'm saying the organization of the tournament you know what i mean now arcade would have sponsored this along with daystar you know what i'm saying the sticker coming out from like minnesota or whatever you know what i'm saying but it's pretty much an arcade one up thing you know uh rev five you know what i'm saying rev and freaking rev was freaking putting all this together you know him and webhead were you know what i'm saying but they were like a two-man team like you can't like handle you can't do commentary handle the logistical side handle registrations you know what i'm saying handle everything else like you can't like you can't you know what i'm saying and i tag and i tag revin and i don't think he saw it because he was too busy trying to you know what i'm saying commentate the thing because i'm pretty sure if he saw it he'd be like nah that's that's what that is you know what i mean didn't want to make and i'm pretty sure you know what i'm saying you're in front of a company you don't want to be like hey yo this is you know i'm saying look like a dick on stream or whatever like yo this is this whatever else you know i think you know what i mean like that's something that you know should be addressed. I think that's the only thing that really bugged me because yeah, that completely changed the outcome of the tournament for like two people. One person would have been eliminated, and the other person could have kept going. And we don't know how far they could have potentially gone. Um, speaking of the running of the tournament, yo Rev did Rev and Web yo did great job setting it up, getting it rescheduled, and organized, and moved over again and whatnot. Um, having people check in on the challenge uh, website to for official entries and whatnot. All that's legit, you know what I mean? I think for a future, because I know that he uh, announced a Marvel versus Capcom tournament with big prizes and, and everything else coming up. So if you have an arcade one up and you have Marvel versus Capcom, you are eligible to enter. I will try to give this point of feedback. I think that the call time should be less. 15 minutes is a long time. Like literally, you know what I mean? I think that five minutes should be substantial. I mean, so because if you because if you look like this, right, 15 minutes, that's that's a quarter of an hour. If somebody can't get their crap together in 15 minutes, they need to be there. Yeah, I mean, it's more of, and it's more it's more of just. Uh, it's more of not just being convincing, but it's as a viewer, you know what I mean? Like you watch it. Um, my dude, QJ, because I sent him, I sent my group chat the link to the tournament. And I sent him the link and the first match it just happened. And I think the first match it just happened between I can't even remember who started the tournament. But the first match it just happened. And so there was like but because you have a 15 minute call, you're waiting for the next people to set up and whatever else. And so he messages in the group and he's like, yo, is this a pre-show? I said, no, nah, the first match just happened. And between the first match and the second match going up, I promise you it was like 10 minutes. You know what I mean? To the point where if your check-ins and stuff are there and everybody else is ready to go you know what i mean like if it's ready to go cash be going bang 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 and i know that's what rev wanted to do so that's not on him that's not on him at all that's on the participants but like i said 15 minute window is a, that's that's a huge time 15 minute window is enough time for me to go get in the bbc you know what i'm saying run around the corner to like the store or mcdonald's or something and come back you know what i mean like that's that's a long time Normal fighting games, you know, turn attorneys, whatever, do like, you know what I'm saying? Your call is like five minutes. Legit. It's five. Speaking of someone who's played in melee tournaments, won melee tournaments, played Street Fighter 4 tournaments, ran shopping in Street Fighter 4 tournaments, finished top eights in multiple Marvel Capcom tournaments, you know what I'm saying? Like, Marvel Capcom 2 tournaments, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to keep it going because you don't know how many people are entering. If you got a lot of people entering, you know what I mean? Like, that's an issue. See, what's, what's going to happen now is that because people are going to see this stuff. And the Marvel vs. Cap, people love Marvel vs. Capcom, so the entry for that might be bananas. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think a five minute call time would be a lot better. Speaking of entries, um, this will be this will be on Rev and you know if Webhead they're setting it up or whoever else is handling the logistical side of it. You know what I'm saying? If you set a bracket, you should stay by the bracket. There were a lot of gripes because the, the thing got randomized three times. I'm with it. Hey, whatever. Let it rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm good with whatever. I know some people thought that, oh, well, they were going to fight this person. Oh, they were going to fight that person. That was an issue. No. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not even put up the bracket. I think the website puts up the bracket automatically, so that's not on Rev again. You know what I'm saying? Or or WebHead. I think the, the website automatically generates it. You know what I'm saying? So that's not on them. And you want it to be shuffled because you don't want it to seem like there's like collusion or oh uh, we're giving uh we're give welcome to die this easy round woo woo you know what I'm saying yo welcome to die and Eddie Good we're gonna bang in the first round let me say that again welcome to die and Eddie Good 
I'm gonna bang in the first round. And if y'all don't understand the significance of that, you know what I mean? Like, that's two heavy hitters that we're gonna go like right away. You know what I mean? So, I like the randomization of, of, of freaking the tournament brackets. I do. That being said, you have to know who's playing in your tournament. Like, like real talk. And you have to prioritize what's going to make the game look good. For instance, Marvel's Capcom tournament that's coming up, right? You want to have Welcome to Die on stream. You want to have Eddie Good. You want to have Trinity Coleman or Store Queen. You know what I'm saying? You want to have you want to have Kongs of Us on stream. Listen, 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 yo! Shout out to my shout out to the dude Kongs of Us, man. Kong, you know what I'm saying? Like, I imbued him with my energy and losers, <laughs> so they can keep going. You know what I mean? And so, yo, my dude, he finished top four. He was like one step away from the baby K. Kong was out there with the fundamentals, which is the next thing I want to talk about, right? So, infinites and tournaments. Is it is it cool that you can do infinites? Yes. Does it does it really take a lot of skill to do infinites? Yes. But does that mean that infinites are still busted as F AF? Yes. Infinites are busted. What's crazy is Kong finished top four. I thought Kong was gonna finish top three. Kong could have finished like top three because Kong has the fundamentals. What you started seeing is when you got towards the end of it, and and you know what I'm saying, and it's cool to watch. You know, I, I guess it's cool to watch. You know what I mean? But like, infinites, man. Not only are they game breaking, but they're like, it's like you're watching the game in autopilot. You know what I mean? Like you have to hope somebody drops. You have to hope somebody drops an infinite. You know what I'm saying? For you to get a chance back. I mean, if they're if they're if they're doing infinite, you know what I mean? And it's crazy because if you watch progression of the attorney or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got I got the full permission from from Rev. There will be a freaking there'll be an RK one up highlight vid of that whole tournament. You know what I'm saying? You'll see. You watch the progression tournament of Kong. Like this dude adapted, like to the point where he started being able to to get the infinite meta, you know what I mean? Like he, you know what I'm saying? Because he's playing with Spidey, you know what I mean? And getting the getting the meta where like you knock down and then pop back, like he was starting to get it towards the end of it. You know what I mean? When 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 Rev announced this thing in the beginning, when he was announcing the rules and whatever, and he said, are infinites legal? And he said, yes. My head kind of went down because it was like, okay, it's cool, but it's like, you have to hope if your opponent connects with an infinite, you have to hope they mess up so you can get a chance to get back in. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, there are people that are good at it. You know what I mean? V, v Sam, and that's how I got knocked out in the uh, in the second round, like, because he didn't mess up. You know what I'm saying? They didn't mess up at all. You gotta have ice in your veins, do infinites. So I respect that. But it's one of those things where it's like, or a fun aspect, an entertaining side of it to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, do you wanna watch somebody overpower somebody with infinites or do you want like a competitive match? You know, I think that, uh, and this is no knocking against anybody playing. I think if infinites were off the table, legit, I think if infinites were off the table, this tournament would have went a lot differently. Like real talk, you know, there's a reason why in Marvel versus Capcom 2, you can only hit, what is it, 54 times? You can only get 54 hits. You know what I mean? Like legit, like the game will make it 54, you know what I'm saying, 54 hits. So if you actually get an infinite on like, I'm saying so you can't really you can't get a true infinite on Marvel's Capcom 2. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, there's some there's some sexy, some sexy stuff you can do with Iron Man and, and whatever else. And you know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's pretty sex, but there's a reason why like, Marvel realized like, hey, mm -mm. or Capcom was like, hey, we can we can't have this in the game. You know what I mean? Which comes to the um which comes to the next thing. Now, on the RK one up, it's the US ROM of uh Marvel Superheroes. So you only have the initial 10. You couldn't get Thanos. Couldn't put the code in for Thanos. You couldn't put the code in for Doctor Doom. I think that I wish that's something that they would patch in the future. That RK will patch in the uh, Japanese ROM. Or maybe the European ROM. So we can get access to them. You know what I mean? But that's not here or there. I think, I honestly, I think if you take the 15 minute call to five to, to five minutes and you take out, you take out the infinites, this would have been, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more more entertaining to watch. Cause like, I'll be real. I'll be real with you. Uh it's funny, cause and it's funny because Rev was uh Rev pulled John D in 
in StreamYard. He pulled John D in, and John D's holding his phone, and he's literally like this. The funny thing about that is, and I can't remember whose match is in. If I if I can remember whose match is in, I'll, I'll post a video of it right now. But literally, it was during an infinite. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, infinites aren't fun to watch. Yes, they are extremely hard to master. Yes, they take mad amount of skill to pull off. But it's not fun to watch. Like, legit, because you already know. You know what I'm saying? You touch somebody, you know what I'm saying? You, you, get, you get a Todd, it's pretty much rap. Like, I'm going to kin this to Dragon Ball Fighters, which, yo, we can run a Dragon Ball Fighters term. It'd be a different story. How you doing? In Dragon Ball Fighters, for you to get a Todd, to get a TOD, you have to you have to burn resources. You've got to burn freaking. You know I'm saying you got to burn assist. You got to burn meter to TOD somebody clean. You know what I'm saying, and we're talking like depending on who you're, we're, we're talking anywhere from five to seven bars a meter. I mean, even if even while you're building it up from zero. You know what I'm saying. So there's work in that. You know, there's entertainment, and then plus, you know what I'm saying. If you mess up an infinite or you mess up drop, you know what I'm saying you can you can counter. And fighters, you know what I mean, there's, you know, what I'm saying you can you can vanish, you can accumulate, you can keep me out. I mean, there's there's ways to get out, you know. And Marvel superheroes, once you're once you're in, you're locked in, like you are literally locked in. You know what I'm saying? It, it just is what it is. Like that was literally my only, my only gripe. It's funny because uh, you know what I'm saying? It's funny because like like it was cool. Like it happened to me. I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever, woo woo. Because once you see somebody pull infinite, you're like, yeah, your game is over with. <laughs> Legit. You know what I mean? Like I was just oh, like, oh yeah, you know, it's 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 rap city. You know? And being like I said, and being able to do that, that's a skill. But I think that takes the fun out of watching it for a viewer. And I think that kind of takes the fun out of it as you know what I'm saying, a player. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, let's be real, and, and this isn't slight against anybody. You know, without infinites or without the ability of infinites, some people got exposed. And funny because Kong was the one doing the exposing. Fundamentals. Kong and Weapon Die, you know, they, were, they were doing the exposing because of fundamentals. If you have fundamentals in a fighting game, like you can you can do a lot. You know what I mean? Um, speaking of the game, apparently there was lots of this in the tournament. Lots of this. Lots of Spidey. Lots of Spidey. Lots of Wolvie. Lots of Juggernaut. I mean, not like there was like one Iron Man, I think. I think Yoshi, Yoshi was uh, using Spider Man. I think Kristen and Steps was using like Captain America. Lots of Spider Man. Fun fact my set, right? My first set, like I wasn't even trying to play Spider Man. And legit, like, because I was waiting for my opponent to load in again, 15 minutes, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't realize my opponent loaded in because I was looking at my monitor, looking over here. Until I turned around and I saw my screen started to move and I was Iron Man. And so I moved the joystick on me. Is that me? And it was me. And I was locked in. So had to go in with the mindset of playing Spider-Man. I didn't want to be that guy. I'm like, hey, let's start over. You know what I mean? Ooh, I'm like, no, bump that. I'm going to go with the flow because that's the way it goes. Let it rock. You know, good for the people. But again, it's the, you know what I'm saying? Well, as far as like Spidey and Wolverine goes, it's the infinite meta. You know what I mean? Like, or... Some people, you know what I'm saying, just genuinely enjoy playing Spidey. You know, I had fun playing Spidey. You know what I mean? I did. Uh, once V-Sam uh, started hitting me with infinites in the second round, I just picked Juggernaut. I was like, yeah, whatever, cool, here, you can have a bigger target. <laughs> and then when I fought Kong in, in quarters, like, you know, in, in, uh, in, what was it, quarters of uh, losers or something like that? Yeah, I mean, like, at that point, my hands were cold. This was like, and, and this is this is where I'm talking about the whole 15 minutes, uh, the whole waiting thing or whatever, right? And the whole prioritize who matches get shown or whatever else you know what i'm saying and you know what i'm saying because kong wanted to go you know i was like dude well you know at this point you know kong had out there had mrs kong out and they were already dropping in you went they were everybody was doing the in you windows or whatever else i'm like i'm pretty sure the stream won't see mrs kong we can wait you know what i mean because let's be real from my first match to my next match was like literally five minutes like i finished my map my first match and then in uh court in winners quarters or whatever i had my next match against v salmon like five minutes the way it should be 
After that match, I didn't have my next match till about three and a half hours. I kid you not. And when your hands are ice cold, you can't do anything. I mean, it's cold in Wisconsin. It just is what it is. But yeah, three and a half hours, you know? But again, that's one of those things where it's like, everybody wanted their match to be aired. And I, th I think as a, as a tournament producer, as a tournament, you know what I'm saying, runner, you know what I'm saying, someone who's conducting the tournament, you have to prioritize who you want on stream and what matches get streamed and what matches don't, you know, because not every match gets streamed. I just think that's, you know what I'm saying, that's just one of the things. Yo, but, uh, yo, shout out to Ken240SNX, you know what I mean? Yo, that's a Nissan, by the way. <laughs> yo, he won the tournament, Tonka took second, Eddie Good took third, Kong took fourth, you know what I mean? Yo, it was a great, but I'm saying, like, like it sounds like I'm nitpicking, but I think I need to nitpick, because if I don't nitpick, then it can't be better for the next one, because Marvel's Capcom's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, a lot bigger, and I think that, you know, don't, don't take any of the broken stuff out in Marvel's Capcom 2, let that rock. You know what I mean? But I think that uh, just just changing the call time to five minutes. You know what I mean? Like, and yo, if Rev, because I know you're probably going to watch this. So I'm going to look you dead in the eye when I say this. I love you. If somebody doesn't show up to their first round for their call, do not knock them down the losers. Just get rid of them. Because I think that was another thing where, like, you know what I'm saying? That was another thing where we were sitting there and somebody didn't show up for the first round of winners and they get knocked to losers. And then we waited another 15, 20 minutes for the same people to show up in losers and they didn't show. Just eliminate them. You know, don't, don't, de don't, you know what I'm saying? If you and DQ them, DQ them from the whole turn. You know what I'm saying? I think that it just, it makes a better viewing experience. And I don't think, you know what I'm saying? It will be so, such so long you know what i mean also i know that there's the uh i know there's a culture first of five or first of ten you know what i mean in the community with big blue or whatever else do first of three like first of three like do do first of three it's easier that way it's faster that way you know what i mean and then when you get towards like then we get towards like the semis you know when you get towards the semis then you can do first of five or when you get to the quarters you can do first of five you know, so so first of threes and all the prelims or whatever, we get to quarters first, of, first of five, do quarters and semis, and then when you get to winners finals, do first of ten. That's that's how I would do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I think I think that not only helps as a viewer, but I think it helps as a participant. You know, yo, and shout out to Rev, man, yo, like that dude worked all day. That dude's voice is probably shredded right now. He was drinking bone broth, you know? Miss, you know what I'm saying? Miss Porter's guys like hooking him up, whatever, getting him food and whatever else, you know? And he's just like stuffing his face because he wanted to keep it going. You know what I mean? So shout out to Rev for just even coordinating with RK1 Up and John D and everyone else to even get this thing together. I look forward to the Marvelous Capcom tournament. I'm not going to win. <laughs> But I look forward to it. I don't. I don't have time to like just practice and whatever else. Also, if we can talk about the whole experience just playing on the arcade one up, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it because my frame is big, but my arcade one ups are all stock. I haven't changed any buttons. I haven't changed sticks, or whatever else. I mean, and so I think that that speaks to the quality of the Marvel versus Capcom, not Big Blue. Your sticks are still trash, my guy. Not you. <laughs> but the Marvel versus Capcom sticks and buttons yeah they're still they're still good it was no lag like legit still no lag or anything like that you know what i mean i didn't feel anything on my end or whatever else it was good so i think as far as like esports goes like this is just like kind of like this was like a beta test and i know they've done court put your quarters glass have done tournaments before but this is like the first one officially that they've done with rk one up in tandem and i think this was a good uh the test see how it can go i just think it just needs a little bit more refinement just a little bit you just need you need like one more person to help you get this stuff you know what i mean together get it organized a little bit better you know what i mean i think that's just that's just that's just one of the things like so these are all nitpicky things just to improve the, the experience of 
the tournament. You know? Hey, Rev, like, dude, I'm, I'm not hard to find, bro. Like, you know me, I'm down to help. Just saying. Anyway, yo, that's my experiences. Yo, RK1 up, yo. Shout out to y'all, man. Put your quarters on glass. Like, literally, putting your quarters on the glass. Yo, shout out to y'all. I mean, hey, UAG. Hey, hey, my boy. I see you didn't play in this tournament. stop <laughs> anyway yo that's the video you guys yo thank you guys for watching you know what i mean if you're out this long i appreciate you know what i'm saying make sure you smash that like button you know subscribe to the channel if you're not turn those notifications so you know my videos hit there will be a highlight video credit for the tournament so you guys can get a condensed version because it's hard for anybody unless you really love fighting games like i do unless you really love them sit through like nine and a half hours so there'll be a condensed version of the highlights and what on the uh, on the channel and then uh Red will have it as well so look forward to that get you a marvel vs capcom if you ain't got one or get next man vs street fighter because next game marvel vs capcom exclusively on rk one up i sound like a shill right now don't i i sound, I sound like that guy I'm like a uh rk one up shill right but what's that old saying a man is measured by the uh by the price of their toys and I like my toys. <laughs> anyway, yo man, get you, get you, get you an arcade. What up? Get the Marvel's Capcom or catch a Street Fighter, Marvel's Street Fighter, or Marvel's Capcom or X Men vs Street Fighter. Why are they on sale right now? On Amazon. I'm not Amazon. Walmart.com. I mean, catch one. I'm gonna shield so more people can play in this tournament because that Marvel vs Capcom tournament is going to be hot and heavy. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one. Later.